Well, hello there, dudes and dudesses, and welcome to a video about a bulk storage system that puts your item in a chest so you can get at it easily. And when that chest is full, it fills the rest of the items that comes into the system in shulker boxes. This system is one I made because it was requested by some members of my community and I whipped it together pretty fast. So here you have some items and for some reason <laughs> I have chosen hoppers, probably because it was in, in my inventory. I mean I don't know of any hopper farms but as you can see this double chest is full which means that the rest of the hoppers coming into the system will be coming down in choker boxes right here. And that's basically what this system does. This is a bulk storage system for things that you probably have uh, coming in from farms mostly, like iron or slime, uh, and maybe uh, sugarcane dirt, probably not so much from a farm yet, you can actually have it from a farm, and you need to have some of it easily, readily uh, accessible, but after that you just need to have it in deep storage, which is shulker boxes down here. Let me show you how one slice works. I won't go through every little thing in detail, but just so you get the gist of it. Uh, I can tell you as much as it is comprised of elements that has uh, been in the game and have been tried for years. For instance, the Impulse SV uh, Overflow Item Filter right here that you set up like this. You probably, I expect you would know it if you're interested in this. And down here, this shocker loader, which is my own design, but based off Summers the Sage's smallest shocker loader has been around for a couple of years as well. This is the heart in the system. This uh, this part is actually a part of the shocker loader. This redstone block with redstone on top of it has a signal strength of 15. This block beside it has a signal strength of 14. This comparator is taking an, an, an output from this shocker box, so when it is full, it will make this signal strength uh, go up from, 15, from 14 to 15. It will be observed by this observer and up this observer, which will fire this sticky piston, which will move this observer over here, pushing, breaking the shulker box going into there and into there. And at the same time, because it's uh, an observer, it will fire right here and place in a new shulker ready to be loaded. This we take advantage of in this system over here as well, because this is the chest for the item in item form. And we just place a block on the other side. So this is has a signal strength of 14 as well, but except when the chest is loaded, it goes to 15, which is registered by this observer, which pulls down this nice timing. It pulls down this uh, composter, which is full now. It doesn't have to be full. Uh, you don't use the specific uh, signal strength of it to anything. It's just that it makes a signal uh, that doesn't affect uh, the hopper line up here. So it is carried over here and locks this hopper so that when uh, this is up here, the items will go down there to the chest. When it's pulled down, the items will go down here to the uh, shulker box loader. All right, let's try and put in some uh, items right here. It should be dribbling down right here. Uh, and by the way, this is a hopper feed line. It could be any kind of feed line, a water way or whatever. But slowly this will fill up. And what we should see is that, well, we won't see it, but this will, the signal strength of this will go up from 14 to 15, causing this uh, small system right here to work. So like that. Now, suddenly, uh, any items that comes in from now on will not go that way. It will go that way. And you can see down here, this chest is full. In this position, this row of hoppers are open and I have uh, pre-filled the shocker box, so there's, it only needs one uh, stack of items down there. So if I put in a stack of items right now, it should be coming down here. We should be able to see it right there. It's going through there. Uh, I cannot open the shocker box while it's in this position, so we just have to wait for it to go down. And what we should see is that 
it will break this shulker box right here and it will go down there and there it was it was broken it went <laughs> down here and it placed another shulker box ready to to take in items now the cool and smart thing about this system i think is that now this chest is full but what happens if you take out items well let's try it let's try it and look at this at the same time this part right here i take out a stack because i need it and now you see the system immediately resets itself so now it's able to take in new items to this chest so this chest will always be full if we look at this system right here if i take out these uh, shulker boxes you can see it pushes down this it we didn't hear it but it makes a light and a sound over here and that's what all these uh, repeaters are for and of course if we fill it up it uh, turns off again you can uh, of course just set it up like this so you alternate repeaters and redstone and as i said this is just a system to let the player in there know that he's low on shulker boxes and he's not running out immediately because this will be full this will be full and this will be full but there will be no one uh, in this uh, barrel right here or you could place a double chest if you wanted to as well you can see here that i've put two pieces of glass here that is because otherwise when the uh, shulkers are broken it might go out to this side and end up down here so you actually have to close off the sides of it and there is a known issue with this sh uh, shulker loader design. Sometimes you can you can see that a shulker is broken, but it won't go down into the hopper. It might go into the hopper besides it. It's I don't know how much uh, how often it happens, like one in a hundred or one in a thousand, but it it can happen. However, for it to happen, it, it uh, these shulkers in here, two of them besides each other has to be broken at the exactly same time and then the glitch has to happen also so it's actually very very seldom it will happen but if it does happen what you will see is that for instance this one with uh, hoppers in it theoretically could go into this chest which is why uh, which is partly why i recommend that you color code your shocker boxes in there um, so you can always easily see if it's in the wrong chest but as I said it's very very rarely going to happen but the way you set it up with the shulker the first time I just place a button here so you press this and once there's a shulker in the system it will load it in here I don't know what it is with uh, storage systems I've been doing a few of them lately and uh, sometimes I've been posting them on reddit and everyone everyone is a rocket scientist <laughs> everyone is a redstone engineer i don't know what it is it, it it must be the holy grail of technical minecrafters or something uh storage because i have never gotten so many uh comments about Ooh, this is it, this just looks very very lacky and so on i've had all kinds of suggestions even had a guy posting a video showing how much lag that 10,000 uh, hoppers in a world would make. 10,000. Look, I know my audience and maybe it's evolving, but my audience are mostly casual players playing in single player world. If they're playing on servers, it's not huge technical servers. Or to put it another way, it's not Psycraft. There's not like thousands and thousands and thousands of hoppers in their world. If they have lag in their world, it's most likely because of the amount of cows they have put together somewhere, or chickens, or something like that. Nevertheless, I have chosen to put this slice in the world download the slice behind me so you can see an easy way to theoretically lag optimize this slice it's much more uh, messy to look at so that's why I haven't used it in the uh, demonstration I did before instead of having a hopper line going all the way I opted for having the hoppers going into a chest and alternating the hoppers with barrels down here so there are fewer hoppers and I shaved off a hopper right there by making it go into a chest and the same here and here all in all saving eight hoppers on this slice 
and I did not uh, show this over there but that's a good idea you know hoppers if they are unlocked and uh, just in the world they will always be checking if there's something coming in from above so if you place a compost on top of it that will stop and that will reduce lag as well there's only these three spots that you can do that with in this no you probably also can do it here so let's just do this you probably also can do it right here right here and I don't know if you can place a repeater, uh, a comparator on a... Hang on. So, you can also place comparators right there. Uh, and then there's the final thing down here. I know people, some people got really turned off about this and ooh, that's a lot of repeaters and it's true, redstone can make cause lag and uh, this is just easy this is an easy farm made a uh, very fast uh, e farm storage system it's meant to be easy to build but it's also and that's what I'm always aiming for meant to be easy to understand so that you can troubleshoot it yourself and this line down here has nothing to do with the primary function of the storage system it is just uh, notifying the player when the shulkers are low and this will work fine it's easy to do you can however opt for having powered rails going into uh, an observer sticky piston redstone block and it does exactly the same like this exactly the same however as this uh, as part of the system is only activated when the shulkers are low it's not like this redstone is uh, standing there blinking away uh, all the time it's it's probably one that will be on don't really know how much lag like, optimization this is but now let me just say if you're playing on a server and it's a rather technical server and you have a lot of your friends building big redstone contraptions and Mm, very big storage systems and using hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and maybe thousands of hoppers it's a good idea to lag optimize and use this slice instead of the slice I showed in the beginning all right dudes and dudesses thank you for watching this video about a hybrid storage system I hope you liked it if you did please leave a like it helps the channel you know and if you're brand new subscribe hit that belly button all that jazz so you get notified. and then I'll just see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh! I remember there's a world download I'm uh, copying this over to a single player world uh, well a standalone world and you will find it as always in my small discord community under uh, world downloads but see you in the next one Bye. <laughs>